Oh, okay, so against uh, Rogue here, just gonna keep the Silent Knight. Looking for a one drop. Hopefully we get Dragon Egg. Nice. Rallying Blade's nice as well. Again, this is a little bit more of an interesting deck. Simply because there isn't a solid two drop. And because of that, we're gonna play Squire on one. Yeah. If we didn't draw Squire, I would have gone ahead and played Dragon Egg, of course. But I do prefer Squire over Dragon Egg on one if you do have Rallying Blade in your hand. Simply because you can buff it. And based on the block draw, I am going to drop Dragon Egg as well. Yeah. Do we want to trade Divine Shields? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Hey, what's up, Andrew? How you doing, man? Yeah, it's been a while, dog. Been pretty good, man. How you been? Okay, backstab's fine. He gets a free trade, unfortunately. But it's all good, it's all good. We do have Rallying Blade, and we still have the Divine Shield, which is pretty nice here. Yeah, so that'll probably come down. We can just Silent Knight. We Rallying Blade, and then... Well, then we have the Divine Shield on something that's popped, so maybe that's not too great. We could always horse rider next turn next turn as well. Which could be okay. We could just horse rider trade trade and then block one of them. It's not too great though. Gonna go for the rallying blade, I think. Yeah, swing face. I do want to trade here, I think. Yeah, that's rogue. Yeah, gonna trade. Hey, Larry Ghost. Yeah, man. Back in standard with the secret paladin. It's good, dude. It's been a good deck so far. It's been working really well. A lot of people will assume the Zoth as well. They're not really expecting Secret Paladin. Yeah. So I don't think it's terrible. Sometimes you do get inconsistent draws though, which kind of does suck. Simply because this deck doesn't run any 2 drops at all, and only Leroy on the 5 drop slot. That's interesting. Okay, SI, that's a good SI. Unfortunately, he did get a 1 drop there, but it's all good. Okay, so we can swing in and just play Silent Knight. Definitely our best option here. Yeah, super big surprise here. Hey, you wanna buy a funnel cake? It's interesting. Not too often you see a rogue change the hero power. Okay, so we can horse rider swing swing hero power. Again, it's not too great. Blessing of Kings doesn't accomplish anything either though. So we're playing hard into Phantom Knives, unfortunately. I think it's fine though. If he has fan, he has fan. It'll be tough to come back from, but we're not in a good spot to begin with. The Rogue has had backstab and SI in the early game. Should make it very tough for us to come back from. Keeper's quite good here. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe maybe we just traded Blessing of Kings trade. Do I want a 5-1 and a 2-1, or do I just want a 6-2? Probably 6-2, because then we're not vulnerable to fan again. Yes, yeah, so we probably do want to do this here. Hero power, swing there. Hoping the token sticks. The token sticks, and we can keep her next turn. Hey, Gigantosaur. Hey, uh, do you have any tips getting past your rank 18 barrier? Yeah, man. Um... If you see my guide to Legend in 5 minutes, Legend in 5 minutes, I just follow the tips there. I'd pick up a tier 1 deck right now and just try and keep on playing that. One that I'd recommend heavily is Dragon Warrior. I'd say pick that deck up, play it a lot, learn the deck inside out, and then I'm sure you'll be able to get past rank 18 relatively easily. But yeah man, just play a lot more, I mean, practice one deck, get really good with it, is what I'd say. <laughs> Can't get past rank 18 because you've been playing Mill Rogue, that makes sense then, Liar Ghost. Tempo and Azoth Priest. <laughs> yeah, man. Hopefully Purify can help, right? <laughs> I like the meme, man. I like the meme. 
wonder. Okay, so we can hero power keeper here and then use competitive spirit as well. It's not bad. It's kind of aggressive, but uh, we do lose to fan again. We could have consecrated, but I want to play keeper here. I don't want to play that slow. It also uses all of our mana, which is pretty nice, but again, we lose to fan, unfortunately. No, man, you can play uh, You can play rank now, dude. It's just the easiest to climb is past the 20th, basically. Yeah, it's, uh, that's all I'd say. It's, like, it's fine to climb now. It's not a big deal, but... um, Yeah, the later you go on, the nicer it is, and the easier it is for you, basically. Okay, so he'll probably swing here, swing here. Yeah, I like the draw first. Draw first is always good. Get, like, a vis or something. Okay, draw another card. Unearthed Raptor really doesn't seem that bad. Hey, that's good to hear, Andrew. Nice, man. Yeah, I mean, if you hit rank 10 for your first time last season, then push for, like, 5 this season. Try for that. Yeah, man, climbing past rank 5 is pretty hard. Because before that, you just get the streaks, right? The streaks are always nice to help you come back. Um, I think we just go face here, right? True silver hero power. And then we go face. Next turn, we Leroy Consecrate for lethal. Seems good. Setting stuff up here. But yeah, man, climbing after rank 5 is a lot harder than climbing before rank 5. Yeah, um, hey, Pendrix, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it a lot. Simply because you don't, you don't get the win streaks anymore, right? You're going to see a lot more refined try-hard decks as well, which kind of sucks if you're someone that's playing for fun. So it's not too great, but I mean, sometimes it'll be worth it. And come on, man. <laughs> come on. <laughs> hey, Cheeseburger. It's going pretty well, man. How's it going to you, dude? It's good to see you again, buddy. Oh, okay, we got our own Tyrion at least. Uh, maybe this is better to Leroy to clear this turn, though. Gives him Ashbringer, which really does suck. If we just play Tyrion here, we'd want to pop the shield, I think. Sweet Tyrion, Silverhand Recruit, Swing. And then next turn, look to Leroy Consecrate. That seems fine. Um, yeah, this sucks if he has second sap, guys. It really does suck if he has second sap. But yeah, this game is kind of interesting, simply because you don't all too often see a rogue switch to hero power. And you don't all too often see rogue play Tyrion. Without playing cards like Burgle. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Thanks, dude. I'm gonna need some good luck, man. Rogue with Tyrion seems pretty busted. Yeah, liar. This guy just became a paladin, man. The new Burgle meta. Not Burgle, but like Huxter, but yeah. That's going to be um, after Karazhan, all the new stealing cards and stuff from your opponent's class. It's going to happen a lot more, I assume. Or it could. I don't know how viable those kind of cards would be. Like Swashbuckler, I believe the name of it is. The one mana one one. Oh, okay. So that's unfortunate that you had the fan. So he'll probably trade Tyrion's there now. But he was looking for Sap there. Okay, that's good for us. Um, Yeah, we still win, so it's not a big deal here. But this was an interesting game, guys, and it was very fortunate that we did top deck Tyrion there. Otherwise, we most likely would have lost. That's Hearthstone, though. Go for Leroy. Turn 9, Leroy Consecration combo is always sick. Go for that. Swing face. And we take the victory against the, uh, the Tyrion Rogue. Pretty interesting game there. Very nice one to start the stream off. And I'll take the W there.